In this arrest affidavit, Jameson, we've learned that that student was looking for revenge. He planted illegal items in a girl's car right here on school property. A hunting knife, a loaded 38 caliber Smith & Wesson revolver, and a 52-gram bag of marijuana. Police say 18-year-old James Robert Harrison planted all three in a car parked at Clearwater High School. I mean, let's face it, it's a gun and weed, and it's a, it's a guy who's mad and wants to get back at people. The target, a 17-year-old girl who's a student here. Harrison graduated last year. He was arrested and charged with four criminal counts for putting the drugs and weapons in the car, but is bonded out of jail. He didn't answer the door today. Students tell me everyone is talking about what happened. I mean, it's better than holding the gun to him, I guess, if you think about it. Like, I'd rather him plant a gun on someone than actually hold a gun to him and threaten to kill him. Police say someone called Crime Stoppers to report a drug deal near the girl's car, and a truck with two men was spotted there. The school resource officer responded along with Clearwater officers. If we we've, we've get a tip of that there's something going on, whether it be drugs, weapons, whatever it is, we go into our processes to ensure that the kids are safe. And yes, in 19 years, I've never had any kind of situation like this. In his video recorded interview with law enforcement, Harrison admitted breaking into the car, hiding the gun, and arranging to call police to get this girl arrested. It's so low that someone has to get revenge that bad to do that, you know, because that's some serious stuff you get caught with that. The principal tells me again, safety is the number one priority and Clearwater police are helping make sure that Harrison doesn't come back to the school. Reporting live in Clearwater, I'm Ashley, your ABC Action News.